Hey friends, welcome back to Home Theatre Enthusiast. So today I'm not doing a regular home theatre equipment review, but trust me this will be an added advantage to your home cinema. If you invest much on your audio video equipments and watching the streaming contents will not give you a best result, because lossless contents will give you drastic improvements over the lossy streaming formats. Also, if you want to stream your local contents to all of your devices, here is a solution. Create a centralized storage for your contents in your local network. Yes, this is a solution for all these problems. A dedicated network attached storage or NAS. You can store all of your content and stream it from all your connected devices from anywhere in your house without losing quality. So let's unbox a pre-configured 8TB NAS from WD, the MyCloud EX2 Ultra. Before that, if you are interested in home theater builds, audio video component reviews like speakers, streaming devices, projectors, etc. Subscribe to my channel and like the video if you actually like it. This is the outer box of the device. I bought a pre-configured 8TB version and it uses WD Red NAS hard disk inside the case. Let's have a closer look on this device. This is very much compact to accommodate a pair of 3.5 inch hard disk. It has 17 cm height, 10 cm width and a 15 cm depth. See the connectivity at the back side. You can see two USB 3 port. This can be used for external hard disk to expand the size of your NAS. Then there is a gigabit ethernet port and a power port. It has a high performance 1.3 GHz dual core processor and a 1 GB memory for seamless media streaming and ultra fast file transfers. Let's open the cabinet. It's very easy, just push this button and we are in. Since mine is a pre configured version, it has two 4TB WD hard disk already installed. I will show you how to install the hard disk. It's time to switch it on. Just connect the power cable and switch on the device. For actual installation, don't forget to connect the Ethernet port on the device to the LAN port of your router. I will show you how to set up this device and how to configure a simple local streaming server using SMB and Kodi Media Player. Open a browser, type the URL MyCloud EX2 Ultra. This will launch the setup page. Choose the language Click the license agreement and click on the continue. Here you have to create the password Now click on next. This is for the cloud access. Fill up the details, save and click next. Validate the details and click on finish. Now you will log into the home page. And you can see a firmware update is available. Click on that and follow the steps. The device will reboot after the updation. Now re-login to the application. Now you can see an entirely new operating system is available. Click on the same and you can see My Cloud OS 5. Follow the steps and upgrade the OS. The device will again reboot and you should login again. Since it's an entirely new OS, you have to create the account again this time. 
follow the steps as I just show you before. I am skipping the cloud access for now. And now we are logged into the all new MyCloud OS 5. You can see the capacity of the NAS is now 3.89 TB. It's because by default the device is configured for RAID mode. I don't need a RAID setup, I just wanted to use the entire 8 TB as my storage. To change the RAID settings, go to the storage menu. You can see currently it's configured for RAID 1. And there is an option to change the RAID mode. Click on the same and you can see the modes available. I will use a spanning mode because in this mode the entire disk space is shown as a large single logical volume. Click on the same and go to the next. It will take some time to erase the data. In the next step, you can select encryption if needed. I will go without encryption. Now the setup is complete and you can close this. Now if you go to the home screen, the capacity will be showing as 7.85 TB. And I am creating a media user for my streaming purpose and I will be using this user for the SMB client access. Open the Kodi application, select movies, then add videos. Here in the browse option, you can see add network location. Click on that and the protocol will be SMB by default. Else you need to select SMB. Provide the server name as MyCloud EX2 Ultra. And provide the username as media and its password. Click OK. Now select the SMB location we just created and select the folder to share, then click OK. Now we have created a network share for streaming our local content. I have copied couple of videos there. Let's try to play that. This is a 4K video. It is running very smooth. Also the seek is very fast like we are playing directly from a hard disk. SMB is just one server. You can also go for Plex Media server that is much more advanced for this kind of streaming purpose. Hope you enjoyed the video. For any queries or suggestions, please comment below. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.